Now we're going to actually implement this flowchart in Microsoft Make Code. The first thing we're going to need to do is get an extension that gives us a timer. And we want this microbit PXT time and date. And that's what's been added right here. Now this set time, if you set it to all zeros, that's essentially making it a stopwatch. And when we start the program, we'll reset our timer. Now under the time and date more, there's this block. This lets you pull out the hour, minute, and seconds as variables individually from the time. So in our forever loop, let's start by keeping track of the minutes, just so we can see that this thing is moving up. And then we want to know if we've reclined more than 35 degrees. So we're going to use the maker, the, the micro bits accelerometer for this. And that's this rotation. So we want to know if we've rotated more than 35 degrees which means we need to make a decision. So if we've rotated more than 35 degrees, then we've reached the necessary amount of recline. And what I'm going to do is create a new function just to deal with what happens when we've reclined. So to create a new function, you come down here to this functions bar, make a function, and let's call it recline. Call. what we're going to do is give feedback and then reset the timer. So to give feedback, let's use the LED and show the check icon because it kind of looks like a chair that's been reclined. And then resetting the timer means setting it back to zero, zero, zero. And now we've got this loop. So we're going to keep checking. Are we still reclined more than 35 degrees? And if we're not, we're going to go back to our main forever loop. If we are still reclined more than 35 degrees, we're going to, keep, we're going to ask, have we reclined for 30 seconds? So our loop is going to be a while loop. So as long as we're reclined for at least 35 degrees, we're just going to keep looping. And you can see here, this needs to be greater than. So as long as we're rotated at least 35 degrees. We're going to pull out the number of seconds. Then we're going to check, have we reclined for more than 30 seconds? So we've reset the timer to zero. So we just need to know
if our seconds are greater than 30. So if our seconds are greater than 30, then we're going to give feedback, reset the timer, and go back to the main loop. So we'll give feedback. So let's give a smiley face, reset the timer, and then to go back to the main loop, we're going to use return. And since we're not returning any value, we just want to go back, we hit that minus. And now this is going to return. So, oops. so up here, all we need to do is call recline. So if you see here on the simulator, if I tilt it forward, I get the check mark. And then if we wait 30 seconds, it should switch to a smiley face. So let's, I'm just gonna cut this down to five seconds so that we see it faster. And there's our smiley face.